everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. And today I'm going to tell you a quick and easy way to program your crystals once you bring them home. Listen, you guys, this is something that's important. If you're buying crystals, crystal bracelets, crystal tumble stones, crystals to put in your home, you really need to know how to program them to do what it is you intend for them to do. So today this is gonna be quick and listen, if you're new to this channel, this is a law of attraction, metaphysical channel that brings you easy to understand information. So don't forget, join the family, support the channel by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. Now, let's get started. I'm back. Now, what is it that I wanna tell you about programming your crystals? Now, this is important, you guys. You guys have to remember, the crystals already have a, a vibration already in them. They are already programmed to do certain things based on what crystals you are purchasing, okay? They all have benefits and purposes. But the thing is, they have multiple benefits and purposes. And you really need to program your crystal to do what it is you intend for it to do. Okay, now, before we can even program your a crystal, any crystal that you bring into your home has been touched by other people, have been touched, it could have been around negative energy. You never know what was going on at that point before you bought these crystals. So, now, how would I cleanse my crystals? I'm going to show you the easiest ways. But listen, you guys, there's many ways of clearing your, um, cleansing your crystals. You can do it by burying them for a couple of days. You can sage them. But the quickest way to actually program your crystals is running some water on them. And again, you have to watch what crystals you are doing this to because some crystals you just would not put in water, like a desert rose. Amethyst at some times, it can be damaged a little bit with water, but look at your crystals, do your own research. There's many ways of cleansing them. Well, now, how would I cleanse them? I would just place them in my hand and I would just run cool water on my crystal. Again, this could be faucet water. You can use Poland spring or filtered water, whatever you want to use. You can use water outside, a stream, a pond, whatever. But I do need you to run water on your crystals to wash away whatever it is these crystals have came in contact with. Now, once you cleanse your crystals, you're going to want to sit with your crystals for a little bit. Again, each crystal has their own properties, their own benefits. So you might want to group the ones that are going to do the same thing. So what I did is I picked out some crystals that was for abundance. We have jade, we have opalite, citrine, red jasper, and I got a tiger's eye. So I want to program all of these crystals for abundance, for money, okay? So you're going to sit with these crystals. You're going to put it in your dominant hand, the hand that you usually write with. You're going to hold the crystal. You're going to be at peace, be, at, be calm, and you're going to sit with the crystals for a while. Again, you're programming these crystals all together. You can program your crystal crystals one by one. But for this video, I'm speeding it up. I'm grouping the crystals based on what I want it to do. So you're going to hold these crystals in your dominant hand, the hand you write with, and you're going to sit with it for a while. Now, at this point, you can also burn a money incense. Um, you can light a money candle, whatever. You might pay, play some soft music, whatever it is to get you in the mood of manifesting whatever it is that you want. So let's just say you want to manifest some money. You're going to take these crystals, you're going after you cleanse them, and you're going to hold them in your dominant hand. Once you do that, you're then going to state simple words, phrases that actually mean whatever it is you're trying to manifest. So you can say, bring me money, manifest money. I am abundantly rich. I am abundantly provided for. Everything works in my favor. 
Whatever it is to go along with what it is you're trying to do, you just keep repeating that and repeating that and sit in peace and quiet. You can even do a visualization. You can even speak to your higher self, but I want you to do it while you're holding these crystals in your hand. Now, the next thing I want you to do, I want you to speak these same words in your non-dominant hand. Simple words, simple phrases like, I am rich. I am abundantly provided for. Money comes to me very easy. I am successful. Whatever it is you want these crystals to do. Again, you don't want to throw out a whole lot of things that don't resonate with these crystals. If you have money crystals in your hand, stay with money, okay? Or program them one by one for what you want them to do. So you're going to say simple words like money comes to me easy. I am rich. I am abundantly provided for. You're going to do this for a couple of minutes and then you're going to take your non-dominant hand and place it on top of your dominant hand. Once you do that, you're going to keep stating, I am rich. I am abundantly provided for. Everything comes to me very easy. I am a master at whatever it is that I do. If you feel like it's not good enough, you can re go back and repeat statements to your non-dominant hand and again, place them on top of the crystals and state again what it is you want them to do. This is all you need to do to program your crystals. Again, you can add some money incense, money candles, anything that's going to help bring about your manifestations, okay? Now, once your crystals are programmed, you can carry them as a tumble stone in, a, in your wallet, in your pocketbook. You can wear them as crystal jewelry. You can wear them as a pendant or a necklace. You, you can put them in your house in areas where you want the crystals to do their work. The thing is, once they're programmed, you will start seeing mild changes occurring. The crystals will start to do their job. They would then start to bring in your life what it is that you're trying to manifest. So if you want money, you might see new opportunities coming ahead for you. You might see that you're starting to save money in certain areas of your life. Things that you would not pay attention to, one day you would say, wow, things just seem to come easier. Okay? That's just how the crystals work. With emotions, with healing, with abundance, with love, that's just what it does. So now listen, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and I'm always giving you law of attraction, metaphysical information to change your life. Support the channel, join the family by liking, subscribing, and tapping the bell. If you want any of these crystals, go to store.myworldofmetaphysics.com where you can find crystals and candles and sage, anything for your spiritual work. You can also go to myworldofmetaphysics.com and sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Again, this is Yvette and namaste.